Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing some work on the SMT10 monster truck. I am turning it into a sport mod monster truck. I'm not building it to compete. I'm building it just to have fun, and I want it to match up with what they do in the sport mod class in the uh, monster truck races. Now, this started off as a grave digger, and I swapped out the green cage with a black cage. I swapped out the motor and the ESC. I have a Traxxas ESC on there, and I have a, uh, a Reedy, what is that, Reedy Radon uh 17 turn brush motor and i made a video of that but it wasn't very good so i'm not gonna you know post it but that's what i did it was just basically me taking this thing apart and putting it back together today we have got the this is the uh the short wheelbase kit from rh designs this is a sway bar kit from rh designs this is the willy bar kit and i have the uh the aluminum uh steering links from Crawford Performance. I'm also gonna be putting some J Concepts Renegades. These are the gold, uh, these are the gold compound. And I got some tribute wheels to go in these. And here's what you get in the kit. There's no real instructions, at least not, not that I have, but uh, two of these are longer than two of these and two of these are longer than two of these. These are the links that go on the top of the axle and these are the ones that go under the bottom and this is the that's where the shocks bolt into it at you get this whole bag of all kind of hardware and screws and uh yeah since there's no instructional videos that i saw online i figured i'd, I'd make one for it start off with you get a bunch of these little screws they look like a set screw and these will go into the ends of all these Like that and these rod ends just screw on like this and you just take this ball and pop it in and repeat like was that 16 times <laughs> one done there we go the top links and the bottom links let's uh, just repeat the process they're all put together let's finish putting everything together before we start taking the truck apart and putting it on the truck here's the sway bar kit it comes with front and rear sway bars I'm only gonna be using one of them this rod goes through the chassis and these slide onto the ends of these rods there's some set screws that go in there and these are the pieces that go up and down on the uh onto the axle so oh there we go so and they screw together just like the uh the links did on the short wheelbase kit let's go ahead and put two of these together Go ahead and take these set screws, put them in there. Now this is as far as we're gonna go with this right now. We'll put it together once we start putting it onto the truck. And this is a Willy Bar kit, the SMT-10. These are all 3D printed. It's pretty cool pieces of aluminum these are two of the wheels or rollers that go between the aluminum uh, aluminum <laughs> this is what it's gonna roll on let's just get these wheels off let's go ahead and start with the front end oh wrong way Don't forget the short ones go 
go up top. Let's pull this whole front end off. Let's take off all the links. These are actually held on by a long bolt that goes all the way through. Over from that side. There we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and put the short ones back on there. These are the short ones, and this part goes to the front. I'll start these top links first. To the other side. There we go. Well, that's awkward. And yeah, this is a bit not quite right. I'm going to take these out and put them in these holes. That seems to be a bit better. Uh, once we get this in together, we'll see how that turns out exactly all right when I took the shocks off and you take the screw out of here there's this little round piece in there the screw goes through that you want to take the screw out and uh, it comes with all the parts you need to mount this with so these are the ones for the top uh, for the top uh, hole this is actually going to mount back normally they mount in these holes we're gonna mount them up in those higher holes instead and that's what the spacer is for the spacer is to hold uh, this apart from the uh, from the chassis So the flat piece goes to the inside So we're gonna put this bottom hole last hole. I mean uh, It's not fitting this is a little bit too wide to fit in there, so I'll file it down on one side Now it fits in there just fine There we go Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this screw in there. Uh, I just want the twist. There we go. Just like that. Stick that in there little washer that came on it I'm put that back put that in there and this is gonna go just like that there we go we got some needle nose Look at that. That's awesome. Perfect. There you go. You can see a difference. Look how much shorter this side is than this side. That is way shorter. And everything seems to be working fine. And I ended up taking that washer, that little plastic washer that was right here, I took that off. And uh, that, that way that, that bolt comes through there a little bit better. And uh, 
Yeah, just repeat for the rear side. Well, for the rear side, for the rear end. Just repeat that for the rear end. Now we need to figure out how to get uh, this all to go together right. Because these are way too long now. That just isn't going to work. So I took this off, and there's actually pieces in the bag. There's a, a whole bag of, uh, of goodies that come with the SMT-10. And you get shorter uh, drive shaft shafts. I don't even know what you would call this piece. But you get shorter of these in there. So what we're going to do, you stick an Allen wrench down in there. There you go. You got the screw. This piece comes right on off. Now you're going to put the short one on there. We're going to see if these work. It also, it also comes with shorter shafts too. See, I still got the plastic piece on there. That's too long. I'm gonna put a short one on this one too. Let's try the shortest one. I don't know if that will be the right size or not. Maybe too short. There's a medium one also. Let's see if this works. Yep. The two short ones seem like they're the perfect size. The front's all together. And we're going to do basically the same thing for the rear. So after you've taken the rear axle off, the sway bar connects to the rear axle. You take those out, and then to get the sway bar out of here, you have to undo these screws right here. And just undo these two little pieces on both sides, and the sway bar will come right on out. Maybe that screw comes out, the long screw goes front, this little piece of plastic comes off, and now the sway bar is free. You just work it out. There you go. So these are the screws that came this the, the kit, and these are some screws I'm going to use. This is actually it feel too short to go inside there and get a very good grip. So what I'm going to do is use these longer screws and go in there into that mount. It just the shorter screws just feel kind of sketchy to me. They're the ones you're supposed to use, and I just. I don't think they go in far enough and I don't like how it feels it just maybe for some people it works fine but I went to a uh, Home Depot and bought some screws that are a little bit longer and that's what I'm going to use you can see they screw right on in there there we go now we got the rear together now we got a Sort this out, don't we? On this one, you know, I changed out both of these for a shorter one. This time, I'm only going to change out this one right here for the shorter one. Let's see how that works. Well, actually, you know what? There's a medium sized one too. This one right here. I'm going to change out the medium with this one over here. Now, I'm changing this one with a medium one instead of this one with a short one because I want to have it. Uh, allow the the center piece to move further and if this one is too short I imagine it's gonna go in so far and, and stop uh, I don't want it to stop on the base up down there yeah see how this only goes to this because this end is hitting inside there I want to avoid that so I'm going to change out this side over here swap it out with this one that's just a little bit shorter there is one that's it's way shorter, and that's not what we're using. We're using the we're going to use the middle one. Got it together. Now we're going to see. We push it in. There's a gap there. That's what we want. So now we can put the drive shaft in there. Now we're going to use the medium drive shaft. This is actually the one that came out of it.
All right, that looks good on both sides. Look at that, it's so short. I like that. Now we're gonna put the sway bar kit on there. So the first thing I wanna do is, is put, this, put this bar through there. These pieces, like this, go right up like that. And I guess I can put these on there and then thread that bar through there. So that's what I'll do. And the short screws go on the rear. I'll take this bar, just run it straight through to one side. And we're going to take these right here. Right, these little spacers go right over those bars like that. And these bars have a flat side to them. So whenever you tighten down the set screw in these, it goes right where these flat spots are. All right, these go on the outside like this. Well, I guess I'll put the bolt on the outside like this. Let's put the nut on that way. You want this part to be on the outside. Put a little set screw back in there. There's a hole on both sides of this thing. And I put the set screw in, in the top. That's just this little rod where you want it. There you go. Make sure the flat side is where the set screw goes. And we'll just leave it. Right there for now, we'll adjust it after we get the other set on. I'm gonna try to get these equal, as equal as I can get them. This is gonna drive me crazy if they're not close to the same. Sway bars are in. Now we're gonna put the woolly bar on, and it comes with two of these pieces. One goes on the left, and one goes on the right. These actually slide right in like that. There we go. These pieces bolt onto it right there. And it appears that these square nuts go inside of here there we go. That's what the screw is going to screw into. All right, I'm going to put this hole matching up to that hole. Looks like that's going to be just where this is going to miss the wheelie bar at. Yep. There we go. You got the those little nuts over here on the other side and the screws screw into them. Let's do the other side. We got the two sides installed. Now this little roller goes inside of the big roller. And just stick it in here. There we go. Install the other one. We may have to loosen this back up to get this one in there. Nope, it slides right in. There we go. Now we got the wheelie bar installed and everything clears. So let's get some, uh, I guess it's time to put the tires on, isn't it? Before we put those tires on, let's go ahead and put these uh, steering links on. There we go. Now something else I want to do, and we notice but these are kind of angled upward, you can take these screws and move those screws and twist all this forward and I'm actually going to do that. Loosen that screw that's up there. 
We just don't want this under here. Come on, there we go. Slide this back and twist it some. Put it back at the angle you want. Turn that axle some. There we go. All right. No. I don't know if you can tell. There's a hole. I don't know if you can tell. There's a screw hole right there. So it was over here, but when you move this over, it comes over there. Now you can see this is going to be more straight. That may be a greater angle. I'm, I'm gonna pull it back one more notch. Now the hole is in the middle. Got that all installed. Now let's uh, power it up and uh, make sure all this is centered. I have a feeling it's not going to be. What's funny is it it no longer balances on this. Used to I could sit it right here and it would balance, but now it's so tail heavy, it won't balance up there anymore. So set trim in the center and. See with the trim to the center, you can see how off it is. So we have to undo uh, the servo saver from the servo and we're gonna readjust it. Take the servo saver off. And uh, there we go. And the servo, the trim is centered. So center the uh, steering the best we can. Put it back on there. There we go. Screw it back together. I'm playing with my trucks. Well, well, you just have to have cold dinner then. Uh, I guess I'll have cold dinner then. <laughs> See, that's pretty close to center. Pretty straight. Let's get those tires on it. There it is. Man, I think that thing looks pretty cool. <laughs> now we need to get a body on it. My body's uh, not quite ready. The grave digger won't fit on it right now and the uh, this one needs to be painted so as soon as I get it ready let's see I guess we can mock it up there we go that's way shorter than what it was <laughs> Let's put that lily bar to use. I don't want to do it out here on the asphalt. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, that's gonna be it for today, guys. I uh, I like this little thing. This is this is so cool. I I am very very pleased with it. The uh, I think I need some uh, make some adjustments on the uh, sway bars and what have you. There's a few things that need to be adjusted. But overall, uh, I like the look of it. I think it looks cool. I <laughs> I can't wait to get that body on here. This thing's gonna be so awesome. It really is. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you learned something. And I will see you guys next time.